hello guys let's start our level 3 and this is the first level of level 3 so after level 2 we have completed so we are eligible for the prize at least one prize so all my friends are requested to complete the lab up to lab 2 so let's let me hope you guys have also completed up to the lab 2 and now from today we will start the lab 3 so let's start open gcp copy this name click next copy this password to accept our country accept it accept and continue ok so this is done scroll down scroll down scroll down let's activate the cloud cell minimize this navigation menu yeah screen look a little bit clean click on this continue Paste it here, press enter key, click on rights, and I think it is now rights. I am ready, and I copy this code. Okay, you can see this code. And for you, copy this code, and this will just for our regional zone, nothing more than that. For this left, we will double by one select as a domain name. Our development manager script will be inserted resulting into the server host properties and something like this do you need to run this or not i don't know yet should i run it okay let's leave it or leave it is opening okay let's create a window vm okay let me first do this Present domain using the cloud workplace. Okay, so we have to provide DNS domain DNS name active directory domain DNS name in domain DNS name. Which is the domain DNS name? Active directory domain name. Copy this same name. Copy this. Okay, let's copy. Copy it. Paste it here. Rest work which place is still important? Uh, any place is still important. So, should I click on deploy? And what about this? Get just for the information, maybe. Okay, leave it. Let's click on accept deploy service. Click on deploy and it is done. Select the progress to happen here then we will do some other steps now let's click on windows vm navigate to compute engine complete and let's go to the compute engine open it so this is open here so open this one open this one here instance so how to create instance just click on create instance and give the name okay no name is required they have mentioned the reason so we should confirm the same reason your central one don't worry about the name your central one and zone is your central one a and s1 is standard two cdg is ns1 and standard one dot standard two that's it Okay, under the put sector, we have to change 
Yeah, jump boot ticks, click on change. We have to change this choose window server. Okay, so let us select window server and next window server 19 descender. Window server 19 window server 19 descender. Here it is. Once this is done, click select and uh, Allow HTTP traffic. Check the both. See, check the both. And it should look like this. Yeah. Now, the view instance will this, this, this. On the data frame tag, we have to add this one. Copy it. Click here. Under network. Test it. And also, This much and paste it under this custom URL. Okay, found it. Let's paste it and then paste it here. Okay, so this is done. Let's see. Let's see. The custom URL IP address paste it there. The custom URL IP address. Network field is a drop down error. Select network instructor. Select the network instructor. This one. Then it should work. Yeah. Now correct. Now click on done. Is there anything necessary to create? Nothing. Okay. Now click on create. Okay. Let's wait. So it is ready now. To test the status of Windows startup. So how to test it? After a short time, the Windows Server instance will be provided. It is Windows Server instance will be provided and listed in the VM instance with set the green status icon. Yeah, we have here green status icon. However, the instance may not be ready. To accept the connection. Okay, so how to check it in a cloud terminal? Run this code. Okay, so next port address. Nothing. Okay, so you didn't get anything. Okay, so here we are. It's ready. Here connection. Run the flink command in the ground set terminal. But the server instance may not be ready to accept any connection as it takes a while for OS component to initialize to see whether it is ready or not. So we got some other types of output, so it is not ready. I think. Okay, so I think we need to wait until it get ready. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, let's check once again. Let's set up instance is ready to use. Okay, so we got something information like this, but not the same information as expected. But still, we got something instance is ready to use. Okay, so that's that is okay. So now copy this code and paste it here, and we have to change. Reset Windows password. Cloud reset Windows password instance. So copy this instance name. And green cursor here. And delete. Delete this much only. We can go back to the last for the username. Okay, for the username, let's add one thing. Copy it. Drag that. Copy it. Okay, 
so we have two instances which one is should I select I just select it randomly present the password login to RDP and call to sell terminal replace instance name with new instance that you created and set the username that you have created that you have created so I have created myself which instance which instance I have created I have created both this both instance this one and this one too or this one just basically from here now and uh, this one just I have created so should I which one should I use ok let's try Do you like to set the password for the admin? It does not if you do it it is starting depending on the user not. Okay. This way save this password as it will use to connect to the server. Which password? Do you like to set or reset the password for admin? Or type Y, okay. Type y. Resetting the interesting password for admin fits, okay. So I think we should, we should go with Do you delete this much? Put it here. We'll go to the last. Okay, like that. Okay, we'll take a one there. Okay, so let's see. Okay. So that's it. Setting and retrieving the password for the admin. Good. Okay, so this is the password. Just add it to the password. Yeah. They have saved to save it. That will be required. So the next step. Now click on RTP. It provided to install the Chrome extension. Once it is installed, it will prepare to log in. Use the password to log in there. Okay. So let's click this. RDP with third party client. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Extension click on RDP. RDP is down arrow. Download the RDP file. If you want, if you are not using Windows, what is your Chrome? You can connect using RDP directly from the and connect directly from the browser using Chrome RDP. Extension click on RDP. You will probably to install the Chrome RTP extension once it is installed. You will log in page. Now the credentials. Okay. Okay, leave this. I don't trust. Maybe it will be some problem. Create some problem to my private uh, data. Copy and paste the following RTP client. Connecting the domains. To set the password for login instance, just the network connectivity, configure, okay that's it. So we learned a lot more about this lab and uh, up to here, just reset the password and that's it, nothing more than this. So let's in the lab and see we got the green check mark or not. 
uh, five stars, submit it. Go back and see. Yeah, here is green check mark. So finally, it completed but no any points. No, no problem. That's okay. So see you in the next video for this one. So thank you.